Hello, hello, hello to all of my virgins. Virgos, this is Queen Amunra coming to you with your Saturday slash Sunday video. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you all. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. I know that you are because that is the intention you set. Listen, Virgos, before we even get started with your reading, because you know we're moving towards a full moon in Virgo, right? Yes, I know y'all getting excited. Hey, listen, I want to give a shout out to a fellow healer. Um, this energy, I'm going to put their channel below. It's Wisdom from the Angels. I want you all to go check it out. You know, like, share, and subscribe. I think that you all really, really like this channel as well. Um, I'll just let you all find out what it's about. I'll put the link below in the description box. Let's get right into your reading. Let's get into your general reading. Let's get right into your general reading. Of course, it's a general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. All right, let's go, Virgos. Let's go. Like I said, we're moving towards a full moon in Virgo. And so you know that you all are intelligent, analytical, honest, reliable, perfectionist. You all are also very loyal, kind, hardworking, practical sign, right, Virgos? So this full moon in Virgo is going to allow, give you, shine a light on every part of your life. Remember the moon... That big rock in the sky that's becoming even more illuminated by the day. Currently, it's at 72% illuminated. Is aligned to all of our feelings, subconscious habits, moods, emotions, and our intuition. So, things are going to be spotlighted in your dreams. So, don't get nervous about the dreams you're having about certain people. Um, certainly, things that cause hostility, right? Here's this first card, Five of Swords. The Judgment card. Don't get frustrated with any part of where you are right now in your journey. King of Swords. Also, you're taking your power back. Page of Wands. Queen of Wands. And also the Page of Pentacles, right? This is a time to get as far away from that emotion of hostility and frustration, okay? Okay. When you, when you start having dreams and downloads in your spirit, as we get closer and closer to this moon being fully illuminated, it had, may has already started for some people, you're going to know exactly what frustrates you. You want to get away from that emotion. You want to find very healthy outlets. Get up and do something. Don't just sit there and ruminate over it, right? Don't sit there and try to analyze it. You all are the I analyze sign. You know exactly who and what grind your gears, get you to this point of going, oh my God, right? If there are relationships, when you look back over your life, this is where wisdom and knowledge comes in. This owl right here represents wisdom and knowledge. You know exactly where you need to take that sword and sever ties with it. If there is anything, and I almost feel like I need to be very specific so that I'm not leaving any stones unturned. If there's anything that's causing you to overthink to a point of frustration, physically get out of your own mind, your own head space. <clears throat> if a, let's say for instance, uh, a relative or somebody stops past your house and you're not home and they leave a note or something in your door and you're like, oh my God, blast from the past. Wonder what that person wants. We're not a friend. We're not talking anymore. We're not close. This causes a bunch of hostility. Don't sit there with the note on your table for weeks trying to overthink this and read between the lines. You know how somebody will read something a thousand and one times and try to read between the lines and fill out all the gray air, burn it and keep it moving, okay? Somebody leaves you a message, a DM, a direct message in your Instagram mailbox or whatever, and you know that you all are not on good terms, don't sit there and try to figure it out. That's just too much energy, right? Remember, I'm seeing somebody looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money. So if you're sitting there holding space for things that frustrate you, how are you going to think about new ways of receiving money? This is feminine energy. How? How? How are you going to think of new ways of creating money? As a matter of fact, if you're overthinking one thing that causes you to be hostile and frustrated, you'll be frustrated with anybody that's trying to help you create space for more money. Yes, because that's what you want, right? So again, somebody leaves a note in your door and this is just figured, I mean, you know, like not that somebody's going to come to your house and leave a note without calling or whatever. 
But if you know if it's somebody, some kind of energy that triggers that the emotions of frust- or frustration or, or, um, or anger or hostility, burn it and keep on moving forward. Bury it. Remember, you're an earth sign. Take that dirt, bury it, and move on, right? I see somebody feeling a lot happier, a lot freer, a lot more um, energetic. You're feeling happy, free, magnetic, on fire. This is fire energy. You're feeling rejuvenated like a teenager again. Why? Because you've decided this is not just taking the high road. This is a person who has their spirit has ascended higher so that you can see things for what it really is. Remember, if you just got things sitting around your house and you know you should have donated it a long time ago, when it's time to, when you, when you, when you have no choice but to move, you're going to get frustrated and overwhelmed, right? Same thing with our spirits. If we know we need to address something or burn something or sever ties with something or cord cutting ceremony or use a burning bowl for something and it's just sitting there and sitting there and sitting there and you wondering why other areas of your life prayers aren't being answered you can't hear the prayer because you still got stuff in your in your spiritual house it's time to release it and move on because trust me you as a and that and this full moon is going to almost make you virgos in particular because you it's a full moon in virgo it's going to really, really force you to focus on areas of your life that you are, that you um, feel like I'm grateful for. But here, are other areas in my life where I really need healing. And I guess I get a sense from you all, Virgos, just in reading your cards, that a lot of you all really want to know how do I get to this additional stream of income? How? How do I get to this additional stream of income? This is how you do it. Just in case for somebody who didn't hear me in the back. This is how you do it. Get as far away from the emotion of hostility and frustration as possible. Get up, physically get out of your house and go do something. Listen to high vibrational music. If there's, like I said, I'm using this as an example. If somebody left a note in your uh, direct message through Instagram or they left your voice message or they left a physical note in your house and you know that there's that energy creates hostility, burn it, tear it up, delete it, erase it, whatever, because you need to get that out of your space. Because again, you're holding on to something that's preventing this, but see at a higher frequency, you would see exactly what it is. And that's what this full moon is going to do for somebody. It's going to, it's going to force you to face it. That may be uncomfortable. So you all are a mutable sign. So you all are usually easily easier to adapt than a Taurus and a Capricorn. So this is where you want to start adapting to some things. What is it? What is it that I need to do? Make room to receive that. Didn't I just say that? That's why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you. Take that sword and cut it out. Libra. This is attached to Libra. Not that the person or people are Libras or even a Sagittarius. I mean, or even a Scorpio. But again... This is the only way you're going to fix it is to sever tie. That's why I said before, like while I was before I shuffled the cards, burn it, you know, burn the note that they left in the door, delete the direct message that they leaving on Facebook or um, Instagram or some social media on Twitter or whatever. Delete an email or, or a, a voice message that they left. Delete all of that stuff so that you can make room for this. Because you all analyze everything and sometimes it's to a point where you can't even concentrate on anything else and it'll cause you to be frustrated. Because you're questioning everything. Oh gosh, what do they mean? Okay, on this line they said good morning. Well, did they mean that sarcastically or was they sincere when they said good morning? I stopped past your house. I mean, were they on their way here or did they sit at the end of the street and wait until I left the driveway and then they pulled up because they didn't want to deal with me directly or what were they doing? That's too much. That is too much. Somebody leaves a voice message. I wonder what the voice message. I got to get, I got to gird my loins before I listen to the voice messages. I'm sure it's something crazy. If you see the number and you and it causes this right here before you even listen to the voice message or read the DM or, or open up the note that they left on your door or whatever, burn it, delete it, uh, erase it, whatever you need to do, get it out of your space and go do something that you enjoy doing so that you can think of new ways to make money. See, again, this is part of the healing. Yeah. As we get closer and closer as, okay, so this is a temperance card, right? There's a fire up under you and I don't want that fire to come out on anybody else, Virgo, that somebody may be trying to help you that you get frustrated with some innocent soul, right? Here we have the fool card. 
somebody almost feels like, see how this person is kind of on the edge, right? Looks like they can, they can either fall over and fall right into this water, but see how they, they're happy. They feel free, right? They're grounded. They got this amethyst in their hand, and this is amethyst, by the way. They got a piece of amethyst in their hand. This is God level of clarity. They're seeing it from a higher perspective. They're ready for change. So this lets me know as, an, as a mutable sign, you all are open to suggestions. You all are open to ideas. That is why I said, if you're sitting there overthinking something and you're trying to figure out why isn't money coming my way? I know I'm talking to somebody. Why isn't money coming my way? What is going on? I was waiting for this lawsuit or this, this um, thing that's happening with court. Not to not say that because I'm looking at the justice card. I'm waiting for this thing to come through. Why why hasn't it come through yet? Overthinking this. And I'm telling you, this is I'm telling you, you know, this full as much as I love the full moon, the full moon has aided in either you having a breakdown, a mental breakdown, or feeling like, okay, I'm having a breakthrough. So I want somebody to have a breakthrough and not a nervous breakdown. So we have time and money in your favor. We have time and money in your favor. I'm also looking at the high priestess. Again, your intuition is extremely heightened. And as we get closer and closer to this full moon in Virgo, which is on the 18th, 1 plus 8 is 9. That's the 18th. 1 plus 8 is 9. And 9 is the number of transformation. Somebody really, really wants to transform to their higher self. But you're going to have to be the person to sever ties. Like It's almost like somebody has it almost right. But it's like, I just need that extra push. Like, what is it, Right. You're going to have to sever ties with all tricky relationships in your life. No matter who it is, you're going to have to sever ties with it. If it's a question mark, you have to sever ties with it so that you can completely heal. I'm also seeing somebody balance out their daily affairs when it comes to money. So again, I see you not only looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money, but I see multiple streams of money coming across your way, right? So again, court date coming up, congratulations to somebody. But uh, um, but if you're wondering why things haven't moved along, it's because it's somebody, somebody, somebody that is causing you to question your own intellect and your own power. That's what it is. Somebody is causing you to question your own intellect and power. You're going to have to rise above and see it and really ascend to your highest selves. Really ascend to your highest selves. And for any earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, it is always family members and it's always your money. Something is connected to family and money. That's why somebody's having such a difficult time. But King of Pentacles right here more money. This is letting me know that you're going to start getting used to the great life where money won't be a problem. So again, I hope somebody hears me loud and clear. Whatever energies cause hostility, whatever, whoever, whatever energies trigger hostility in your life, you're going to have to sever ties with it. Yep. Somebody in your family. See in the past, this I'm telling you, I can't make this stuff up. That's why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you all. This number five right here and two plus three is what? Five. Everybody can add 23. Two plus three is five. And you see the number five here, right? Somebody's family member is causing them to feel like this. If they leave you a DM text message, a note in your door, you know, send a message in a bottle. And when you're walking along the beach, send it with a, with a note wrapped around a bird's net, neck. Neck. And the bird just comes and lands right on your stoop or lands right on your deck or balcony or whatever saying, chirp, 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 Virgo, I have a note for you from the person who is causing hostility and pain in your life. Send that bird on his way. Say, thank you, birdie. But you can take that return to sender. I don't want to have anything to do with it. Again, family. It's having to do with somebody's family. But I see, like I said, I see this time you, you're taking, this is a leap of faith. This is really, really a leap of faith, Virgo. So anyway, here we go. Don't let pride get in your way. Is it a Leo? That's what I'm telling you. I like to shuffle the cards in front of you all. Is it a Leo? Don't let pride get in your way. Whenever we are asking for anything to be released to us, we first have to release something in order to make room for whatever we're asking for, even if it's family members. Even if it's family members. 
Here we have, you were made for bonding. One, and then we have, when I catch myself looking away from someone, I will remember to look into the person's eyes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let me be crystal clear for somebody. Because family is not the easiest to cut off for earth signs in particular. That's you, Taurus, and Capricorn. When I say sever ties with the emotion, don't let that note sit in your door. Don't let that email sit in your email box. Don't let that message sit in your DM or that voice message sit on your phone. Delete it. I'm not telling you to sever ties with the person unless they did something so egregious to you, you are completely severing ties with you. But I understand it's not that difficult, but at least sever ties with the emotions that come up in your feelings, the, that, that those emotions that arise in you whenever you think about them and what they could possibly want or whatever the case may be, because it is blocking your money. It's blocking your money. It's blocking your money. That is what I have for you, Virgos. Time for you to get to your money. If it's family, like I'm seeing here, sever ties with the emotion, ascend higher so that you can see what it is. And again, ascend to your highest self so you can see the whole thing. I, I think I mentioned in my last reading that um, somebody's going to use something in the family, whether it's children or whatever, to get to you, to manipulate you. At a higher frequency, and the more the more and more this moon is illuminated, you're going to see more and more into what it is that you're going to have an opportunity to sever ties with it. Then that's when you're going to start seeing more money because more ideas are going to start coming through and ways of creating space for more money. What I mean by creating space, and that's something I got to slow down for my earth signs because again, you all are so connected to with you see with your natural eyes. That for me, and not necessarily Virgos, because again, you all are mutable, so you all are, you, you know, kind of easier to kind of, um, to explain this to, but for somebody, when I say make room for more money coming into your life and creating opportunities, if you're holding on, if your mind is holding on to thinking about this person who causes hostility, whether it's in a workplace, family member, whoever it is, you, it's hard for you to really create space to think of that new business idea and who you should connect with so that this you can create this flourishing business. Or if you have a YouTube channel coming up with new ideas, or if you decide you want to start a new brand of whatever, bowling balls, whatever it is, like it takes up too much energy. It takes up too much space. And now you're overthinking on the wrong thing instead of thinking, putting all that energy towards this more money. Get it? Good. If you have any other questions, you can you can schedule a personal reading down below. My link is down below. Again, I will put the link down to this other healer's information down below too. She has a um, angel um, oracle cards, and you know it's a it's a it's a really cool platform. So you all may want to also check that out as well. The link will be down below in the description. That's what I have for you, Virgos, and I'll see you in the next couple of days. Bye.